Report our Daytona. Who's going to get here first? Regan Smith, 7. Keslowski, 22. Stewart, 33. And contact! Smith turned around. Tommy Stewart is going to win this race. And a terrible crash coming to the finish. This is a big, big wreck. down the front straightaway. A little bit further back there, you saw a couple of cars taking a peek, but nobody could make the pass at this stage. Whoa, a leg wiggle there, look out, spin, going into the wall. J.R. Hildebrand has hit the wall in turns between one and two, and there you can see where he stopped. Loose, meaning the back end of the car wants to come around for you. And Eddie, as you know, it is very difficult to be able to drive a car that is loose in traffic. Inside, inside, clear. Hildebrand, driver for the National Guard. And we have troops over in Afghanistan that are watching, watch their reaction. the Indiana National Guard, and uh, they're disappointed, of course. And it's a combination of the Kronos. Oh, that's, that's McNish. That's Alan McNish. That's a massive chunk oh, goal. No. Traffic. Oh, boy. That oh, was... That, no. He went for a hole there, boys, that was not there. Oh. Look at the spectators. On board. This is with Timo. See the traffic, and Alan just shoots the gap. Wow. And this is exactly what we had talked about. Getting the car righted now. Alan's still in. That was that was extremely disturbing. And Dr. Wolfgang Ulrich. Oh, and that is a goodness. Be... Boy, wow. thank goodness. That is awesome. That's great to see right there. That was a massive shunt. And the yes. relief at Audi. Relief that our Alan is okay. Because that'll move him up three places in the points without him having. Oh, Phil Quaife all over the place. Phil Quaife in the Armco at the start of the Mistral straight. Bitch, oh, and that's, that's an Audi and the Corvette. A Lamborghini. There's four, five, six cars. There's wreckage everywhere. And that has to be a red flag. Look at the mess at the start of the Mistral. This is how it started. This is Thomas Ackery gets it wrong into the barriers there and backs it across the circuit. He was the first because look through the windscreen, you'll see Phil Quaife having his accident there. And Ackery didn't want to get out, didn't want to risk it, but now he knows it's best to run away. And here comes the rest of them. And it was that it was the 26. That was Christopher Meese in the Audi pirouetting four or five times. Adam Morgan is third, Jason Plato is fourth, Jordan is fifth, Tordoff sixth, Jeff Smith runs seventh, and it's Newsham, Nick Foster and Rob Austin, oh, off goes Austin, he's been collected by a spinning Newsham, that is a big, big impact, the Audi is demolished, Rob Austin is in the middle of the road, that's certainly going to be a safety car, it may even be a stoppage, but Rob Austin has hit the Armco and the tyre wall, a mighty blow. So we look back further at top of your screen... Newsham gets sideways, just clips the back. That turns the car out. It goes out of shot, but almost goes backwards square on into the wall because there's uh, the, the, the 
the actual arm code is at a bit of an angle. Here we see the reverse shot. This should show us the angle of contact for Rob Austin. Look, backwards, and he just clips that sideways wall. Fortunately, it was slightly up the hill, a bit further up than I thought, but a massive impact at barely unabated speed. So Dave Newsham lost it, slithered across the track, and of course, Rob Austin saw a car slow ahead of him. He darted up the inside. Just look at the force with which he hits the barrier. That yeah. is huge. Squash jump, it's not flat. ET, ET, line in the middle of a squash crest jump. Six left in number crest jump, and right in number crest jump, and left over crest. ET, line in the six. Feller hat er schon überholt und jetzt setzt er an, extrem anzugreifen. Jarvis versucht es uh, und dann wird die Resta getroffen offen. von Rockenfeller. Und das könnte das Ende für beide sein. Meine Güte. Und tatsächlich, die Resta dreht sich, kommt er da nochmal raus oh. und dann gibt es einen riesen Crash. Ach, das ist Alexandre Prima. Fister in the Seat down the inside looking for second place. Little lock up. Oh, and Hobbler touch from behind. And all hell breaks loose. Half a dozen cars off there. Left-hand side of the start-finish straight, Maxime Martin on the right-hand side, Nicky Katzberg, Ferraris queuing up behind, already out, is going off the track as the lights go green, jockeying for position, we ride on board with car number 51, Glingetti, but he's getting caught on the oh, side, contact. oh, the big contact, huge contact there, as one of the uh, BMWs going straight into the concrete. It's probably relatively undamaged, but severe damage to the Mercedes, and also we saw a very heavy damage to the front of the Aston Martin. Whoa! Well, Luca Filippi, let's see how this starts. Who loses it? No, oh, that was Filippi. Goes off on the inside. Wow. Huge shunt, and now it's all avoidance. My goodness me. Well, we don't see where the rest of it breaks loose from. This Straight will show us, two. though. Well, he goes out. And it, it just snaps left on it. sharp it left over left the curb. That's yep. a breakage. Yep. That's what happened to... Uh, well, it was his rear wheel took out whichever... <laughs> 
whichever of the two that was. Yeah, well, certainly kept him busy, wouldn't it? And now a little bit of a look there from from uh, Tung down the inside there. Oh, who's that on the ground? That's Sushek, I think. It is Andy Sushek. Oh, no. Big hit now. Now that was one of the racing engineering cars that took him out. They couldn't see who that was that hit him, but that was a hell of a hit, Gary. That was Gary. a big hit, wasn't it? Play up, oh, and just gets that wrong. Hits the back of uh, of Sam Bird and Limer. I mean, he, he, he touches uh, Sam Bird as well there in the impact. He touches the back of. Uh, there you go, yeah. Hits Limer. Limer. And goes into. Does he go into? It goes into Leal. So he takes Leal, Leal. out. it was the Mara and but I, I still really don't know how that happened it, it's like he's just it's like it's almost like it's locked up the bay he didn't get clobbered he went down fairly heavy and there was there were two guys collided behind him as they entered this the, as they were between the first and second parts of the chicane if you watch it from here oh yes he lost the back end didn't he? and it flicked him off there Ouch. Silver. BMW ended up in a mess, and also there's a collision behind in the pack. Yep, and that's it. There. there, look. And that, I think that's Lea, that's Mc Oh, and there's Sylvan Barrier. Eh? So Barrier gets collected by number 36, uh, uh, Mercado, I think, as they go down. Yes, I think looking at that, Barrier is going to be not that badly injured, I don't think, if at all. So that must have been Goldenhaus, who, Goldenhaus, who must have made a sensational start. Oh, dear. And then also number 16 throws it away. That's uh, Remo Castellara. Oh, contact. Will Power gets hit. Several cars going around, and now we have a major melee for turn number one. Looking for the out. guilty party. Every, you're right, everybody spread out. Let's see what's happening. There it is. Car that's on, and he gets through with it, isn't that always the way it generally happens? So we'll have to get a different view to see exactly who that was. Oh, turn two, Ryan Newman tried, tried, and he finally dumped David yeah, Gilliland. Newman had yeah. hit him about three times before, and that was the charm out of turn two. Neither one of them looked very happy, that's for sure, and... Uh, 
Daryl, there's a bit of racing etiquette. You get to somebody's bumper and you give them a little shot that says, I'm here, I caught you, I'm quicker, I want to get by you. But tempers boil over on a hot day in Dover. <laughs> 